Well, good morning, friends. This is Doug DiMercurio here in beautiful northern Colorado. Uh, I've got a, a nice tip for you today on a WordPress plugin that I started using not too long ago to help me organize my, uh, my the scheduling of my future content. Uh, but it also, uh, one of the side benefits that I've discovered is that it actually helps me to monitor how consistent uh, I am in posting content, which ultimately will will help you to increase the ranking of of your WordPress uh, blog on the you know as far as the Alexa rankings. But just to help schedule your schedule your posts so that uh, so that you are more consistent and and you're not uh, doubling up on particular days or leaving huge blank spots. You know, so I can go back here if I look look back on my my past calendar. This is a view of what the calendar looks like in your back office on WordPress. And I will show you how to install this plugin in a moment, uh, but I want to show you a few of the, few of the handy features of this um, before I do that. So this is what the calendar looks like. You can see these little <coughs> dates that have uh, copy in here that's, that's grayed out. Those are posts that have already been published, and the ones that are not grayed out that are in the dark black are posts that are still in draft mode and uh, so they can still be edited and and actually moved around on the calendar and I'll show you how simple that is this one for example is a blog post that I had scheduled for this morning and changed my mind because uh, I have something else I want to put out today so all I, I moved it over here to tomorrow but actually I think what I'm going to do is publish it on Monday and so it's as simple as just clicking on it dragging and dropping it to Monday and now this post is scheduled and will be sent out on Monday morning so I already have that um, it's ready to go now you can see on Tuesday of next week I actually have a post here and underneath some of these it says draft so these are not scheduled to be posted yet but in my calendar I have them placed on that day so all I have to do to actually have it go out on that day is go in and and uh, in this one, for example, I, you know, it's it's titled Wednesday. I saw that term from somebody, um, so I just click on the edit button, and it will take me directly to that post. And you can see that it's it's not scheduled right now, but it is put in there on that day. But I can edit this schedule right now. It's in draft mode. All if I want it to go out at that particular time, all I have to do is click on this schedule button, and that's which is the same as publishing it. On, at a future time frame. So I can take this off of here, change the date to currently, and then rather than draft, I can click on this and it'll publish it immediately. So you can do that as well if you want to. But uh, so to go from, if you if you are in the middle of writing a post and you just want to uh, go directly to the calendar to see see where that is, it's just up here in your posts menu you click on the calendar button and as simple as that it will it will take you to your calendar and then you can you know decide if and when you you want to publish your particular content um, and if I want to move this from today to Sunday just click and drag it, it just reschedules it puts it over there on Sunday instead so I'm going to come back over here, put that back on today's, and uh, shortly I'll be editing that and, and shooting that out. So there you go. I mean, those are some of the functions. I mean, you there are, uh, you know, if I if I, as you can see here, you can you can scroll down on your calendar to future dates. So this is further in April and May. I don't have anything scheduled or plugged in for those, you know, as of yet. But I can also go back in time and see when, um, what weeks, what days did I publish, what did I not. This just shows me, gives me a history of when I published particular content. So if you have an idea, if you're trying to find a post, this is one of, you know, could be a shortcut in terms of how to do it. And then you can just scroll back through your calendar if you know approximately when you posted that content. You can go back here and and you can find previously published content and then you can just click on it you can either edit that if you realize that a link is no longer working you want to edit past links uh, or you can just view view that as well so to add this to your this uh, cool plugin this cool feature to your WordPress plugin you're just gonna go down here 
to uh, plugins and click on add new. The name of this WordPress plugin is WordPress Editorial Calendar. So under the install plugins here, just under search, go to WordPress Editorial. Did I do that right? Editorial Calendar. Do that search for plugins. And so here you are. Um, it's going to be, I guess now it's called Editorial Calendar. Um, so you'll just click on this and um, add the, uh, this plugin to, you're just going to upload it and then you'll activate it, install it on your WordPress blog. I'm not going to go through the procedure of how to do that. That's a topic for another, another uh, video, but uh, it's as simple as that. Once you have it installed and activated, then you'll just go back here and you can click on calendar and away you go. It's that simple and really handy tool. Um, I hope you'll, if you have found this video helpful, uh, the content valuable to you, and um, if you like it, install it. Um, I think it's a great feature. I just absolutely love it. You can be anywhere on the calendar here again. You can click on show today and it will take you right to today's today's calendar and, and away you go. So this is Doug D. Mercurio in Northern Colorado. Um, go out and become massively successful starting today. Hope you found this a great value. Have a great day. And this is Doug D. Mercurio signing off. Thank you.